corner, 236 pounds from San Francisco, Steve Pardee. Second match, Hogan. He's got some guy who thinks he's tough back in uh, the third or fourth row, challenges him to come in the ring. And he's not answering the challenge. The brother of Hulk Hogan, who does a very impressive job. He comes off very impressively. Playing what else a wrestler in Rocky Three plays a wrestler called Thunderlips, and I tell you it is quite, quite the, a group of scenes that he's involved in. Hopefully, we'll be able to see Hulk Hogan in person before too very long. Those negotiations still underway. As Hulk is going to come up and be visiting his brother, whether he wrestles or not. Well. He's making the big bucks now. They lock up. Into the ropes and the break is clean. Steve Pardee, who has improved a lot. Since he left here, I guess it's been a couple years ago. He started out under the tutelage, tutelage rather, of Red Bastine. He lost his hair to Buddy Rose, one of those times when Rose was into the hair match challenges. I believe, I don't think we've had one since Buddy lost his hair, have we? Hair match, he finally lost one. Side headlock by Hogan. Anyway, Pardee lost his, Red Bassine was so upset about it. Uh, Red, one of the world's premier wrestlers for many, many years, still climbs in the ring on occasions, does a lot of refereeing. He challenged Rose, and then he lost his hair. Bastine did, and the redhead. I tell you, I don't think the redhead's gotten over that one yet. Side headlock, Dizzy Hogan. With a hold on Steve Pardee, P A R D double E. If you want to drop Pardee a line. You can send it to Wrestling, Share KPTV, P.O. Box 3401. In fact, any comments you want to make about the wrestling show to me or letters to any of the wrestlers, you can send in care of Channel 12. Rock back, but can keep one shoulder off. And to the trunks, camera catching it clearly. Sandy Barr <laughs> trying to catch him at it. He has suspicion, but no proof. Headlock down on the mat. Hogan doing a little yelling at uh, Andy Sandy, who's decked out in green and yellow. He looks like a little bumblebee. Side headlock, Hogan. It's far deep. Not sure yet what our main event is going to be. 
We're going to get that championship match or not match for the championship. Up in the air and body slam. Hardy putting Hogan to the mat. Arm drag slam and to the wing lock. To the left arm. Hey. Working the wrist lock down on the mat, party on Hogan. trying to pull him off the hold. Hogan makes his way to his feet against the hold. to the near neutral corner. Andy Barr saying you're on the ropes. Let's get a break. I almost said we're on the ropes. Let's get a break. Watch out. Hogan nearly nailed him. Back to the wing lock. Steve Party from San Francisco. Working it. It's another Californian. Lucy Hogan is from Venice, California. Dr. D and the Playboy finally got in the ring but didn't stay there. Tuesday night, it ended up out on the floor into the crowd. Ended up uh, technically, I guess, a no contest. Don Owen is talking about getting them together, and he says, if I do, I am going to make them stay in the ring. Neither man will get a nickel payoff if they don't stay in the ring and settle this thing. Shoulder driven into the midsection. Now a bear hug. Hogan. And looked like the karate thumb. That's what the ringsiders are saying at any rate. Hogan claiming open hand blow. Treatment for Pardee. Hogan, snap mare, brings him out to the middle of the ring. Knee drop to the chest. Flying knee drop. Covers him with a body press. Didn't hook a leg. Pardee groggy, but hanging in. Snap mare puts him down and a headlock from behind by Dizzy Hogan. Hack Sawyer back in action. He'll rejoin Rocky Johnson, his tag team partner of late, as they try to regain the tag team championships that were held up two weeks ago. And then Hack had to go back home to Florida because of an illness to his mother. He has come back, and they'll be settling that tonight. If we don't have it as our main event, if you don't see it here on the tube, you can get the results tomorrow morning. At on KYXI Radio 1520 on your AM dial, way up there to the right, News Radio 15. When I bring you a capsule report of what happened the night before and a little show called Wrestling Wrap Up. Hope you'll join us for that. We sometimes get little bits of information that we save. We don't let you know on television or find out after TV goes off. 
sometimes after the matches we get some information we didn't have we'll report it Sunday morning. What shot he caught him. Nailed him with the elbow. Hogan nails far D. The elbow smashed back of the head. Body slam. And a Hogan hammer. A right elbow comes down. Not enough to get the pin. Pardee's able to kick out of it. Hogan easily body slams. Pardee. Hogan a man of good strength. And he might have had the pin there. He pulled him up. He wants to give him some more punishment. Pardee being worked on by Hogan. And I think he'd have been pinned. And Pardee takes him in a small package. Oh, and Hogan he is going to regret not pinning Pardee when he had the opportunity. He let him off the hook. Pardee came right back at him with a small package inside cradle and pinned him. Oh, Hogan he is griping about that one, but I tell you, he looked bad. He had Pardee beat, then wanted to hurt him some more. Let him off the hook.